Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Take a look at Jet Clean Portable. Although it's not been updated for a while, it has a cult following coming up on 3 million downloads on Major Geeks. Last updated right about a year after Windows 10, so it still works on Windows 10. So all you have to do is come to the link in the video, click download now, and you'll get the Jet Clean Portable. Now the problem with Jet Clean is, we just added this today because we realized that Jet Clean will let you make a portable app, but you have to install it first. So we did that for you and made it available for download. So double click, extract the files by clicking on extract, extract all. And when you're done, it will open a folder with the file in it. You can put the file in the folders anywhere you like. So in my case, since I extract it in downloads, I'm in the download folder. So let's go double click and look for jet clean run that and there you have it I actually saved it with the registry clean unchecked for good reason it really doesn't do you a lot of good but there's a little something else we'll show you in a minute here so skip the registry clean let's go down to Windows clean everything should be good just the way you have it it's basically a set it and forget it program app cleaning nothing too dangerous in here shortcut cleaner RAM cleaner is kinda eh. Not a big fan, so I'm going to uncheck that. You can do go ahead and scan. And as you can see, it's really, really fast. Again, this is a clean install of Windows 10. It always is. I'm in a virtual machine, as you can see. And must close Google Chrome. So I thought it was closed. Oh, no, it wasn't because I was showing you that stuff. There we go. And there you have it. So not a ton, but keeping in mind, it's a fairly clean install. So that's your simple clean. You just figure out what you want to do and take a minute to go through all your settings once you have it, much like any other application. You've got everything the way you want it. You just go ahead and come in and click scan or, well, repair. Not a big fan of that word. Here's your system information. It's kind of cool. So it's not just a cleaner. It has a system info tool. It has an uninstaller built in, including toolbars. You can list by recent, large, Windows Update, Startup Optimizer. This is cool because you can take a look and see how much memory it's using, what's running, what's not it's running, and just quite simply find whatever you want that's not running and enable it, or click Disable to disable anything that's not running. So pretty cool. Registry Defrag, that's what I wanted to tell you about. Now, cleaning your registry will not speed up your computer, but it could cause problems. It general rule is to leave it alone. Me, I've been cleaning it for years because... I don't care. I can fix my computer. But red, defragging your registry could make it possible for anything in Windows to get through your registry faster, and it's nice. So you can click Analyze and take a look and see how bad it is. Mine should be pretty good. Great time for a text message. Let's see what we got here. As you can see, new install. Does not need defragmentation, so it's honest. Internet Booster, does it work? I don't know. Windows 10 is pretty cool out of the box as far as networking goes but if you're having problems you can try it because you can always come back here and click restore now performance booster is going to install jet boost so be careful before you do that it is another free program but it's kind of like a gaming mode so let's do it so what happens is when you install it it will actually slow down or sorry disable some processes and services so that your computer can run faster as you can see here it stopped 14 services again keeping in mind that I'm a clean install I've got to keep reminding you no I don't you know better but just so you know so basically that'll help you run your games and I don't know photography or video tools much better and of course this is the thing I told you about where you can create a portable version which I've already done for you settings executed startup basic stuff context menu so it'll end up putting stuff in here I don't know if it's right here where I find it says it's here maybe because I have to No, it's no apply let's take a look here I don't know it says it's in my context menu somewhere but if you don't want it there check 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 oh there they are clean privacy system information open file location another setting here you might consider is deleting Windows temporary files I don't like it I always want everything cleaned up to the mo to the minute and no don't forget secure delete something other people love to have it doesn't have a ton of options for secure delete but if you want to do secure delete it's just a one check so like I said it's pretty popular hide warning messages show balloon tips which can be nice and there you go there is other settings in here somewhere I'm trying to remember 
you can just kind of click through and look at it. There was a couple I was thinking about. And of course, now I can't remember what it was. But there were some sort of settings in here I thought were fairly inter... Oh, the ignore list. Thank you. So there's your registry and your cookies. So they've got a bunch of them in here. I don't know what they are. If you click on one, hold the shift key and just hold your arrow down. And depending how patient you are, it could take a while. And if you've been using it already, it's going to look at all the computers on your computer. As you can see, this is taking a minute to do. But it's probably worth it because you don't know what it is. And you can come through here. And those are the cookies to keep. Click the arrow. Now you've got nothing. Now you can go through here and find what you want. Type in, you know, Facebook, Gmail, Google, whatever you want to save. And then you can click it and add it over here to the whitelist and then click apply. So there you have it. Pretty easy to use and now portable. So because it's a portable app, you're just going to run it out of the folder. And if you don't like it, close it. Open your file explorer. Is that in the system tray? It is. I wonder, uh, there we go, restore and exit. So we're going to go back to our factory settings. And then now that we're done and everything is closed, we're going to come to the folder that you installed. This is the folder. This is the file. You can tell by the zip. And click the delete key. Delete the file you downloaded. And it's like you never had it on your computer. There you have it, lower right corner. Click on the Major Geeks logo and you can subscribe. We'd appreciate that. And once again, check the video description for the download link. It's only like five megs. And it's probably not something the hardcore geek will use, but most people will enjoy it for its simplicity. Thanks for watching, as always. See ya.